lots of, uh, as you'd expect, lots of showbiz stories, but also uh, it's really lovely about your parents. Uh, just tell us about your mother. I'm sure she was always an interesting woman, but later in life you discovered she was really interesting. Well, yeah, because when I was about 10, she went off to do a part-time job at the Foreign Office where she'd worked when she was much, much younger before she had a family. And uh, <clears throat> we'd... Uh, my dad would drop her off at work at this building in Lambeth and he'd go off to the hospital and uh, sometimes I went with him or whatever. And then a, cut to years, years later, um, when they were both well retired, and I opened the paper one day and it said MI6 building to be sold. And I thought, that's Mum's workplace. And <laughs> <laughs> so I phoned her up and she was in the garden and she went, hello, dear. And uh, she came in for the gardens and um, uh, I said, did you work for MI6? And she said, mm-hmm. And uh, I said, no, but did you? You were a spy. Wow. <laughs> and she said, no, I did some filing, and, uh, and, uh, which is what it turned out she did. But it was quite, it was quite sort of classified filing, and I only yeah. discovered this years later. And when she passed away, I asked my dad if she'd ever talked about it. He said, no, I had no idea what she ever did, cos... Uh, but they allowed you... Didn't MI6 allow you in and showed you all the secret files and things? Well, the, well they didn't show me secret files, but they did very kindly... <laughs> <laughs> They did not show me secret files. Please, please don't tie me to a chair and ask questions. <laughs> um, they, um, no, but they did actually ask me in to do a sort of lunchtime chat. They were having this sort of sequence of uh, chats uh, to, to sort of from outsiders, really, to come in and just, you know, natter to the, the boys and girls who work there. Uh, so I just did a talk about, you know, about my life in, in the industry and people who'd inspired me along the way and that sort of thing. And then I met a man afterwards. He came up to me and uh, he was uh, roughly a bit younger than me, but he said, I, I, I work with your mum. And that was just astonishing oh. because she was a few years gone by now. Yeah. And uh, he said, we were in our, our section up in the, whatever it was called, P section or something, and uh, we'd hear these footsteps on the corridor coming out. Quick, there's Pat, there's Pat, quick, look busy, look busy. <laughs> and that was the weirdest thing. It was the, the... I knew what he meant by those footsteps. I remembered those uh -huh. footsteps, and we were connected by a sort of sound. Yeah. And I'd never met this man, but suddenly I felt really a, a wonderful sort of connection. It was amazing. <laughs>